I really have been enjoying the enemy randomizer, which is why we're bringing it back. We're doing another one this time with much, uh, I want to say harder settings. You'll ex you'll understand why in a second, why I'm calling it the enemy rando extreme edition. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into it. Three, two, one, go. It's almost so, and it's close. Uh, okay, do I need, this doesn't seem like a good shop. Wait, you're telling me my starting equipment was claim and Dracula's <laughs> You know, this is, this is supposed to be, t this is, this is really hard, guys. You don't understand. This, this game is really hard. Oh my God. Do I have any videos with my thoughts on what makes a good Metroidvania or castle? Like in the term Metroidvania, does Metroidvania tier list, something like that? I do have a Metroidvania tier list, yes. Also, the reason it was supposed to be extreme is because I turned on the big toss setting with the enemy randomizer, which was supposed to make the game harder. Ow. The idea is that the game was supposed to be hard because it was going to be hard to get around with the random enemies uh, beating my shit. So, yeah, everyone knows Claim is the worst weapon in the game. I'm not cheating. It's random, dude. I swear to God. I literally just made this random seed right now. I swear to God I'm not cheating. I also turned on the area randomizer. like this so what is this cheatery oh my god you know what fine 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 seeds too easy huh oh seeds too easy whatever i'll make a new one 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 it's fine i'll make a new one I'll make a new one jeez you guys said the seeds too easy so i re-randomized it's completely random Gaslit into making it harder. I might have been gaslit into making it harder. Very potentially, I might have just done that. Let's see what's in the shop. Uh, base lights, okay. It's also cheap. Final guard, iron golem. Okay. Why is my light being weird? There we go. Uh, I guess I'll sell the gold ring and then buy the base lard. Actually, broadsword is slightly better. I'll get the broadsword, even though it costs a little bit more money. That's fine. It was it was actually randomized. Yes, guys. I promise you, it was random. Oh, wait. This isn't a... Why did I think the Claymore auto-canceled? Then in that case, we are getting the base sword. Thankfully, I had enough money for both. This is a pretty good starting weapon. New Gamba? That's a good question. Uh, I guess if I die or not? Because we didn't hit bingo last time. We can do a prediction on whether I die. Sure. I'll try not to, but it is going to be... This is hard, okay? This is a very difficult randomizer. And I'll let you guys gamble on whether or not I proceed to die. Why not? How much damage are these guys doing? Six? That's not bad. Also, Big Toss Rando is happening. So if I take damage, I will be Big Tossed. Which presumably is supposed to make the game harder. Is that a succubus? This early in the game? Okay, well, okay. I'm sure it's fine. You know what? Succubus there doesn't matter. I can easily avoid them. Uh, there's four soul canisters in this area, according to the soul tracker. I'm going to check this next area. I mean, it basically skips farther into the area without skipping too many checks. So sure, let's do it. Oh! Can I get past this guy? I think I have to just kill him like normal. Uh, 
Oh my god, ow. There we go. I'll deal with that later. I should also be killing enemies to hopefully maybe get some souls. Because right now our soul is okay. Oh my god. Ow. But it's not amazing. Oh fuck. You know, if there's anything in that room, I don't need it. I just don't need it. If there's anything in that room, I don't need it. I simply don't need it. It's fine. We'll be fine. I do have to get past this guy. Which shouldn't be too hard. I just have to wait for my MP. Yeah, because I just can't risk it right now. My, my HP is already so low, and the next save room is pretty far. Oh, I did make that jump. There we go. Uh, is that $20,000 that I just picked up? That's pretty good. Don't hit me. The giant worm does poison, so I have to be careful about that. It was 2k. Okay. Oh, come on, man! At least I have a lot of room, but this guy has 10 billion health, right? Where's, where's giant skeleton? Do I have to kill him for him to show up in the enemy data? That's so annoying. I thought it would just show up if I hit him. We're going to be here for a while. I will be getting a lot of experience. You guys thought I was joking with enemy rando extreme. Oh my god, the game is breaking. It was lagging so hard there for a second. Stop. If I leave this room and all the damage I've done to him resets, I'm going to cry. He is cornering me, which is kind of annoying. Oh, wait, I can just do that. Okay, never mind. The experience isn't worth it. Holy shit, Big Toss Rando coming in clutch. Unironically, huge. Oh, fuck off. Can I get another ghost, please? Uh-oh. Well. Dude, the prediction's not even over. Oh, my God. I think I have to undo the prediction, right? Damn, get scammed, I guess. I, I think I have to refund. If only I had the claim, true. All right, let's try this again. This time we'll come from this side to see if we can get anything different. What happened? I don't want to talk about it, man. It happened too fast. I could, there was nothing I could have done about it. Okay. These are easy enough to skip. I'll add a death counter. Why not? Um, it should be pretty easy if I just do this and then do this, do this. There we go. Oh God. I, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. All right, well, you guys want to do a new prediction? Let's say instead of if we die, sub 10 deaths. Let's do sub five. Let's do sub five, uh, sub seven to beat the game. I think I do it under, under seven deaths now that I've already have one. So I have to beat the game in under seven deaths. Have fun gambling. Ooh, okay, we missed out on double jump before. That actually is kind of huge. 
Will I scam again? No, I would never. No manip? I don't think you can... I don't think you can easily manip in this uh, random-ass environment. Oh, dude, how am I supposed to get down there? There's stuff down there, man! All right, fucking... We'll have to come back later, I guess. It's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Everything is fine. Ow. You know, I should get out of here. I should I should leave. 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 All right. Well, we're kind of trapped with a lot of very annoying enemies. Aren't those dolls vanilla? They are not. No. It's normally supposed to be the, um... Skeleton soldiers? In that spot? There's no dolls in this area normally. Uh, I can technically actually go up here. Ow. Question is, can I... Dodge these guys long enough to explore this area? Oh, there's a soul canister up there. Wait. Do I need to... Oh, I'm genius! Big Toss Rando coming in clutch. I just need to survive. This could be Hippogriff. This could be huge for us. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I got, I got what I needed and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. All right. That was huge, actually. And all we got was a silly dive kick. But we got a dive kick, so I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it honest with you. This enemy randomizer is looking uh, pretty tough. We can go use the area warp to warp where we were before. This time, hopefully, without dying. I could try and go up. I could check this area warp, actually. I just have to attempt to dodge for a while. If I'm in a sticky situation, I'll sleep again, but... Oh, no. I need a dive kick off that, I think. Or dive kick off them. Or just do that. This is tough, guys. This, this is tough. The attack delay makes me furious. Uh, if you can do backdash cancels, the um, final sword's good. What you want to do to make the weapon swing faster is you want to do a jump attack, and then when you land, you do a backdash. And then you can jump out of the backdash, and it cancels all the lag. I would like to check up here. One damage boost is not that bad. Okay, it's getting a little worse. I just have to really hard focus on dodging. Okay, that's fine. Giant Worm here doesn't do anything. Okay, that What is that Giant Worm doing? Okay, we're fucked. We're fucked. We just cannot go that way right now. Yeah, I just need, like, a decent soul right now. That's all I need. What was the worm doing? I don't know. I really don't know. I didn't... And if it was, like, a normal worm, I might have feasibly been able to, like, kill it fast enough. But... I don't think that was going to happen. Whilst trying to dodge the Irinas. All right, we just got to get out of here. Was F.A. in this seed or the other seed? F.A. F.A. what? Ow. Ow. 
Flying armor? Not in this seed, no. We don't have flying armor. That was the last seed. Because over there is where the rippers are. And this way is the giant s fucking skeleton. Which I could try and damage boost past. Like we did last time, but then the second skeleton is there, so... Can I get these guys to actually follow me, maybe? Can I get one of them to follow me so I could damage boost off of it multiple times? Wait, can I get the giant worm to damage boost me? Faramazula? Bro, I could be playing Elden Ring right now. Instead, I'm doing this shit. I could be playing Elden Ring enemy randomizer. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth taking the damage boost. <laughs> yeah, I could be doing Elden Ring no-hit enemy randomizer. A notoriously easy-to-complete challenge, if you really think about it. No streamers I know of have struggled with that challenge for months at a time. Please do Elden Ring. Okay, I don't have the randomizer set up today, but I could do it tomorrow for the um, New Year's stream if you guys want. That sounds fun. Today is mostly kind of like a get back into the swing of things out for streaming, so that way I can have a longer and better stream tomorrow, hopefully. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, okay. What? I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Hopefully the next room is chill. Please be chill. Oh, it's just Medusa heads and wooden golem. That's fine. I don't have any fucking healing. What is this shit? Why do the Medusa heads hurt so bad? Oh my god, one more room. One more room and then a save room. Thank god we have the dive kick. Unironically, I think the dive kick saved us there. Oh. No more chill streams. We're gonna do human hormone. <laughs> human growth hormone and get pissed. Sure. You know what? Fuck it, why not? Dude, phase Anadu, I hope she's okay. That's uh, very scary to hear. Hope nothing but the best for you. I don't need to be here. Why am I here? Why am I here? This guy's killable. Just that the sword is so short. Dude, the hitboxes in this game, man. The fucking hitboxes in this game. They're so small. Okay. I think it was worth it to try and get the experience, unironically. And maybe an anti-venom will come in clutch later. I don't know. It seems like these spawning mermen are never randomized, which is interesting for an enemy randomizer. Dog. Can I get past these guys? Oh. Well, I figured out how to get past them. <laughs> I figured out their weakness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hundred to hundred bucks. Chat, would you go through a room that looks like this for a hundred dollars in real life? If Mr. Beast sets up a fucking obstacle course with lantern guys throwing fire at you and a guy with a knife and a pool, would you go through it for a hundred bucks? First of all, I'd be like, listen to me, Jimmy. A hundred dollars for all this shit? You're being kind of cheap right now. And then I would do it, of course. That's a hundred bucks, man. Well, since it's safe, I don't see why not. It's, you know, safe relatively, I guess. I mean, I made it through all right, I guess, but. Dog. This shit for flying armor and that's it? It's a fucking dead end! Oh no. 
so wait, where... Am I supposed to go up where the... The only other location that's unlocked by this is... The one that's blocked by the Eren is. Oh. The one that we damage boosted up, but then the fucking poison worm killed us. That's our only place? That's in logic for us to go to right now. I'm pretty sure. Joel. We're getting kind of jeweled right now. Wait, unless? Dude, the, the dive kick in this game is so wimpy. It sends you nowhere. Maybe they were upset that people were going um, too high with dive kicks in Soden. Maybe they... they By this point, they must have known that you could skip into um, All Rox's quarters early out by dive kicking. So maybe they just wanted to prevent people from using the dive kick to skip stuff. Because it's so weak in this game. Ow. There is the, the Ripper hallway as well. I guess you are correct. That's another option that we ignored. Am I going to have enough health for this? Because I have to get past these skeletons again. Those guys only do four damage. Okay, that's not bad. Look, I would be killing more enemies if there were more easy enemies to kill. Oh, we despawned the skeleton. It was lagging so bad. Wait, is that a legitimate strategy? Don't kill enemies so you despawn other enemies because it lags the game too hard? I might be a genius, guys. Hold on. Oh. I'm not going that way. Nope. I'm good. I'm, I don't need to go that way. Wait, can I? I can make that jump. Hold on, I can make that jump. We might have an out. We might have an out here. This should work with double jump. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, I just need to not be bad. There it is. Okay. We have a new area. I don't know if this is in logic. I'm gonna assume it is. I hope it is. I'm stupid! Well, it gets me to a, a save room. I'm so dumb for thinking that was a new area. We, it literally is... Whatever, it's fine. It was a shortcut back here. It was a shortcut back here to the save room. It was a shortcut to the save room, guys. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. <laughs> I thought that was a new area. Fuck. All right, let's go back. We can do the Ripper. We could try the Ripper room because there is still two soul canisters in this area. Ow! Ow. Did you guys know you could wave dash in this fucking game? Ow. I didn't know Soma could wave dash. We're fine. Oh, it's a goddamn blicky? Thanks. I could be I could have a gun right now. What up, Razor? Dude, rotten meat. Frick. Please be a chill enemy. Chill enemy. Chill enemy. Please. Oh. Okay, this guy's pretty chill actually. He does a lot of damage, but he's chill. All right. Come on. Something good. It, I mean, sure. Why not? It's Super Mario. Ow! I said he was chill. God damn it, man. I can no longer wave dash because now it forces me to slide. What's up, Fran? Shit, I have to get past these guys. I'm 
trying to find the means of an indoor exercise that's not hard on your knees. Yeah. Is the elliptical too hard on you? I personally, when I do cardio, that is, I, I go for an elliptical. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm so dead! I think I need the slide, too, or I might need it coming up. Damn. That's fine. We don't need it necessarily right this second. I think this is the last area that we have to check, though. Yeah, swimming is also very nice, but not everybody has access to pools, obviously, especially all year round or just in general. Like, outdoor pools definitely don't exist all year round in certain areas. We gotta wave dash our ass out of here. Yeah, if you have, like, a, a gym membership or, like, access to the YMCA. There's a lot of Ys. Like, the Y that's near me does have a pool, I think? Probably. I don't use it, though. I, I don't really like swimming, personally. I don't like chlorine on my skin. It makes me feel weird. Maybe that's just me being a baby. I don't know. Tried to get out of the way, man. Okay. Hopefully the game lags so hard that the other worm doesn't spawn. You feel chlorine? Yeah, do you not... You don't have, like, a, a, a weird skin feeling when you have chlorine on your skin? Is it just me? Like, it's definitely, like, dry and stuff. Uncomfortable. It's also, like, really annoying for your hair and stuff like that. There's a save room over there, which would be nice, but I have to get there. Dog, come on. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here. I'm starting to think that this extreme enemy randomizer might be a bad idea. Like, do I even have a chance here? Okay. Dude, I have to react so fast. Reaction test passed. Oh, no, not the fucking mud man. Holy shit, dude. Why is the mud man so cracked? Okay, reaction test. This is fucking scary, man! Ah! I preempted, but it was okay. One more. And then it's a fucking boss fight! And then another hallway. <sighs> but if I kill the boss without taking damage, I can refill my health! It's fine. Training for hitless. Yep. Oh my god. If every single room had to be, like, dissected like this, would you guys watch me do a hit list? It would take me, like, ten hours to finish the game. Is that something you guys actually want to watch? Absolutely, yes. Oh, no. Hojo. 
I just need the Castlevania version of RTSR. R. Yeah, it's called the Lubicant Soul. If I had the Lube Soul right now, I'd be lubed up, ready to go. God damn. Thanks for the sub, by the way, Hojo. <sighs> okay. You know, it is just hitless training. It's hitless training. All right, it was actually just hit, hitless training. Oh my God. Woo! All right, nice. Uh, I should be able to hit that with the broadsword, yeah. For a bamboo sword. Fair trade, I guess. Scared shitless hitless. Oh god. This is why hitless would be so bad, because I would just fall onto a fucking enemy like that and just die. Oh my god, what are you doing here, slime? And I don't have any tools to deal with this situation. The slimes have like 10 billion health, right? Dog. Okay, at least it's not the gold skeleton. But still, this guy still has a decent amount of health. At least I can do decent damage to him. Oh, that's actually not that bad. You know what? I'm leaving. I, I don't care. Ooh. That's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. Surely this area doesn't have any difficult enemies. Yellow Soul School. Oh, shit. I mean, it's fine. That does give us progression, but that progression is locked behind a room that has 10 million. It's just a sellable. I'm just leaving it. I'm leaving now. Um... 10 million minotaurs, red minotaurs even, and I don't know how I'm going to get past them because I don't have a soul that lets me do damage to them because they're below me. Maybe I can hit them with the claymore in a way that I'm safe doing so, but I also kind of want these guys to drop a soul. Maybe that's useful since they're infinitely respawning. That'd be nice. Doesn't look like it. Uh, if I could physically wave dash places and it didn't hurt my body, would I do it? In real life, am I the only one allowed to do it? Because I think if I'm the only person that's able to wave dash, I think I wouldn't. Because it's like, when am I going to use that? Maybe actually, no, I, I would, but I would just hide it. It'd be a hidden power because I don't want people to know my secrets. If I'm the only person on the planet that can wave dash, that's like my superpower, then I think I have to take it, but then you only use it in situations where it's in a hidden, like I can't, I can't let people know I can do it. So I feel like that's like asking to get sent off to the CIA for questioning. That's a canister. Fuck. Shit. This room is bad. This room is very bad. Oh my god, the fucking dry ass! Oh no! Dog. My only way to survive is to go back to the beginning of the game. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Two health. No. 
Why is it lagging so goddamn hard? No, 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 no. Why did he turn around, man? How much progress did I just lose? Good evening, how's it going? Dry ass? I was thinking of the, the Yu-Gi-Oh card. They're called Dryads in this game. We're back in the chapel. It's not that much progress. <sighs> it's fine. Because all that was up there was a gold ring, so we don't really need it. The lag almost saved me. Yeah, it's just the guy turned around in a really weird way. Can I dive kick off the viewers? I was considering it, but if the dive kick hitbox had the viewer hit me at the same time, I would have died, and I didn't want to risk it, right? There's a chance that I dive kick off of them and everything's fine, but I also could have traded where they hit me and I hit them at the same time because dive kicks in Castlevania games are never, you know, consistent or good. Talk about a circle jerk. The viewer is a circle and he is a jerk. You know what? I'll let you have that. Fuck naked hamster. You, 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 you get to have that joke. I'll let you have that. All right. I think I'm going to go straight to the um, warp this time. So that way I can just start making progress. And also, if I damage boost, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, no, just kidding. Damage boost me the correct way, please. Jesus Christ, man. Did I just teleport in place, or did I teleport to the... Okay, good. Was there anything in the shop worth buying? I don't think there was, right? New items only show up once you've killed certain bosses. Oh, is this casual clothes? Thanks, man. I guess I can sell them for dick all. It was... I guess I can buy high potions and milk. Wait, milk is so cheap. How much does milk heal? There's actually so much... If I could find the um, Flesh Golem Soul, Spoiled Milk is literally free. Because it's literally free, I'm buying it. I'm buying nine. Wait. Can I sell Spoiled Milk? I cannot. Dude, if I could sell it, that's like literally infinite money glitch. Dude, the spear is so bad. Bamboo Sword is so bad. I'll buy, I'll buy high potions. Dick all, <laughs> upgraded version of dick spell, cast dick on all enemies. God damn it. How dare you have a funny joke to make fun of my weird, whoa. I don't feel so good. Oh God. I don't feel so good. Oh God, why are those ghosts extra scary? Canister? Oh? Skeleton Knight. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I was kind of hoping for, unironically, I was hoping for um, the other thing. Because then we have infinite full heals. I'm good. I'm not going up there. If we were able to find a uh, Flesh Golem. If we find the Flesh Golem soul, we have infinite full heals. Do I want puns? Yeah, go for it. I should save before going back. Uh, there was red minotaurs on the way going down to, um, my access to the, the 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 underwater way over to the right, where like floating gardens and stuff normally is, um, and I don't think I can damage the red minotaurs because they're below me, and I don't really have any attacks that go below me except for that claymore. But I think the hitbox of the axe will hit me before the claymore hits them, so I don't think I can do damage to them yet. What is a skeleton gardener's favorite tree? What? 
A bones eye tree. Oh. I knew there was going to be a bone pun somewhere in there, but I couldn't figure it out. That's a good one. Ow. Ow. This is what I was talking about with the damage boost being kind of risky. There's a soul canister there, and I kind of want to figure out which one it is. But it's going to be so hard to get down there. You know what? I just need to get on the other side of this guy, have him damage boost me, and then I can do kind of none of... Damage boost me. Yep. It was just Skula again? Dog. Man. Trees, do trees poop? If not, where do number two pencils come from? Dog, oh my. Wait, hold on. Ow. I kind of want to get to the other side, please. Wait, can I? I don't think I can jump past him, right? I got kicked in the fucking face! So, what? I gambled on whether or not we beat this in under seven deaths? About that. We might be lucky if we do sub 20. <laughs> God damn it. All right. All right. We didn't lose that much progress. I went the wrong way. Is death a status effect? Yep. Death Scythe, where are you? That would be nice. Like, literally any decent item would be great. I'm not gonna lie. Don't forget to reclaim your souls. Yeah, I gotta go touch my blood stain and get my fucking souls back. Imagine? Okay. New Aria randomizer where when you die, you just lose some souls and you get sent back like two or three rooms. I mean, I need to figure out how to get past this fucking guy. I don't really got, like, good options. Like, how am I supposed to... Because they don't walk off of edges, do they? Yeah, I think that... Yeah, their AI won't let them walk off ledges, so I can't, like, get past them very easily. I guess I can go... this way and hope that I don't need to go that way. It'd be nice if I had, like... I don't know, weapons or more souls. You know what I might do to make this a little bit... I don't know how much easier it would make it. It would reduce the amount of farming. But there is a setting that allows you to force soul drops after killing an enemy once. Like, you always get the soul drop every time. But I feel like that might make the game a little too easy because then I'll have way too many souls. I'm still trying to tweak the, the, the balance on the idea for this. Oh my Christ. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What is this seed, man? I can't get anywhere. I can't get fucking anywhere without some dumb shit like this happening. Oh my God. This is doable. This is going to take 10 million years. Goddamn Grand Falloon. I'll try my best. But I don't have a lot of faith.
Oh, no. <sighs> oh, I wasted a milk. Oops. This is so slow and so stupid. I don't know what to tell you guys. I wish it didn't have to be this way. But this boss sucks and I don't have anything better, really. I mean, best I can do is try and use my broadsword. It's not bad. At least I have double jump to get around easier. How much health does each of these cores have? It's a few thousand, I'm sure, but... It's not even worth trying to kill those guys. I could be attacking him up here, it is true, but I feel like it's safer to fight down here. Because my escape route is always up instead of necessarily down. Or at least here, I can, like, fall down slowly and figure out if the guys are underneath me or not. The lads, if you will. Strutting their stuff. The only downside is I could be... Actually, you know what I should do? I changed my mind. I am going to fight him exclusively up here. And I'll give him the run around. Well... Yeah, 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 this should be fine. Because then I can run to this side. And there's no bodies to worry about. Yeah, this guy has to be an annoying ass boss. That's just like his job. Oh my fucking god. Shouldn't have used that high potion, but whatever. At least I have healing. Why did we abandon the claim run? You guys said it was too easy. That was a mistake. Yeah, I got scammed by my chat. Gaslit into thinking that it. Dude, I feel like 42 is not that bad damage wise versus this guy. But I, I, does he have infinite health? Did I trigger an infinite health glitch? Does he heal over time that I'm just not aware of? Yeah. 
5,000? So I have to hit 100, over 100 times per section? Oh my god, dude. That explains why this is taking so long. Ow. Dude, I'm getting so impatient. You know what? Let's start over. Where is he? There he is. Oh? The cracks are starting to show? Oh, shit. I almost just fucking jumped into that laser. Oh no, not ads now! Twitch, please! I'm in the middle of something! God damn it, I'm trying to wave dash past this fucker. It doesn't work! I thought the wave dashing would work. It doesn't work. If I could slide under him, it would be fine. At least milk is really cheap. gonna do it. It only took 10 million years. Ow. Thank God for milk. I hate this attack. What up, devil? Where the fuck is he? I'm gonna jump into a laser beam in the face. Almost. Almost as bad. There's all my milk. Ow, how did that hit me? Yeah, the milk economy doing doing good in the world of Castlevania 2035. God. Do I have milk? Stop using this attack. It's so boring and bullshit. All you do is run away. Please die. Oh my God. I'm so mad. Come on. Stop it. How much health does the core have, man? This is my strongest weapon, yes. 
At least we have healing. I'm not going to complain about that. But seriously, dude. Fuck you. We're going to run out of healing. I have to use it now because everything was doing a little over 120, right? This guy just... I just wasted my potion. Whatever. Fuck me, man. I forgot where we were. Oh shit, we were here the whole time. I forgot. Jesus Christ, we were in that boss fight for like 30 minutes. Oh. Well, I'll suck right now. Don't make me don't make me pull out the suck machine. Give him the old suck. Beam skeleton. Oh. Okay. You know what? It, it costs a lot of magic, but it's pretty good. It's decent enough. Is that spoiled milk? It's going to be so funny when that's spoiled milk. Oh, I just fucking killed him too. And then I missed. Oh my god. Is he trapped? Um. Dude. He's stuck in the wall. Fuck you. You deserve this. Bitch. It is spoiled milk. Okay. Oh I'm glad I didn't walk into the fucking gladiator. Dick beam and suck machine. What a build. <laughs> I'd like to grab this potion, please. Oh my god. What a troll spawn. At the very least, I could deal with it, right? Unlike this fucking guy. Is he gonna stay over there forever? This is gonna take 10 million years. Dude, the enemy randomizer is so cursed. It's so cursed. You really want- you guys really want to see me try? And do a no-hit of this? Oh my god. Imagine trying to no-hit this fucking- If I take any damage, I instantly die. It would be impossible. I, it would take 10 hours. I do- it does tickle me, the- the- the way how janky this enemy randomizer is. There's just some moments that are just so funny. Oh, fuck. Do it. It's worth it. I feel like it would take me months. Years. To try and no-hit this game. Where am I? Dude, okay, you know, this does actually get, this fixes the issue. Cause there's there's uh, red skeletons to our left that we couldn't get past before. This actually fixes that issue. All right, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, 
all of this for an area with only one soul canister feels a little shitty, but you know, whatever. Gotta do what I gotta do. Mock punch. Okay, it's it's something. I gotta try and avoid as many enemies as possible here. There is a save for us here. Oh, and a gargoyle here? That's not bad. Although I did get owned by him, but it's fine. I'll go to his mock punch. It's like not amazing. It does multi-hit though, but it's a fist type weapon. So the hitbox isn't like amazing on it. I don't know. Cock punch? I gotta get better at using the cock laser, man. There is some delay to it. Wait, are these guys vanilla? Except they're dropping rippers instead of normal? Or do they normally drop rippers? I don't remember. Either way, I want out. I can't remember if that's vanilla or not. It is vanilla? Okay. Unfortunate for me. Warhammer. I mean, it's high base damage, even though the, though the hitbox is kind of bad. It might be useful for trying to one-shot specific enemies. For example, like that, where my fist wouldn't be able to do that. It's better than nothing. That's all I will give it. It's better than nothing. Dog. Like, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? This fucking game sucks, man. I don't think I can reasonably get past him. I think we might be locked. Wait, unless... Do you fall off ledges? You don't! Fuck. If you've... Okay. Can I get the golem all the way over here? Or will it get stuck right on this ledge? Because I think I need a damage boost. I think that's my only way past that guy. I need the golem. It can't go upstairs! I mean, I got nothing, man. Unless I do that. You know what? I'll take it. Somehow, mission accomplished. We didn't find the soul canister. We did miss a few rooms, but I don't want to go back. We're going to have to go back if we want that soul canister. Shit, man. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Shit, man. this wall. Oh, I can. Fuck me. Whatever. Before I do anything, it's one soul canister. It's probably not worth going back for. Let's just see where does this take me? F 
four. Okay. We probably should just be here then. Oh? Oh! Well... I see the extreme in the title is not clickbait. I would never clickbait. I mean, giant bat's great. I'm not going to complain about that. This randomizer has been so long, I almost regained my channel points that I put on the prediction. Oh my god. I will always click on DB bait. Thank you, Blackhawk. I appreciate you. Come on! Imagine I'm doing a no-hit challenge. Imagine! And then fucking invisible rock knights from nowhere show up. Come on, man. Enemy Rando Extreme! It's Enemy Rando Extreme! What more do you- like... You think I would clickbait Enemy Rando Extreme? I would never. Okay, hold on. The randomizer's kind of being a little nice right now, and it scares me. We found top floor. I should probably grab the warp. And then turn around. And finish exploring the other area. Ow! It's a normal-ass skeleton. I'll take it. It's luring me into a false sense of security? Probably. You're, you're probably correct. False sense of security. Got it, got it, got it. Now, you know what? Uh, we still haven't killed Death and we haven't killed Headhunter. So, because of those two things, we cannot. Clear this, uh, or we don't have anything new in the shop yet, right? I can actually buy more milk, though. And I can't afford it. I think I'm going to get rid of Mock Punch. I think it's perfectly fine to get rid of. To grab more milk? That's fine. Thank you, Satan. Appreciate the rain. I think Satan just proposed to me. Also, which item did we not check yet in this area? Oh, it's the, um, it's the slide. We have to go back for the slide. Remember, at the for those that remember an hour ago, There's my clickbait title. Satan proposed, not clickbait. It would take months of DB Daily trying a pointless challenge. I prefer a Hollow Knight randomizer. I've done Hollow Knight randomizer in the past. And boy, oh boy, is it hard. <laughs> Hollow Knight randomizer sure is difficult. You guys are just saying games that you like. Streamer, play this game that I like. Please. Oh, God. At least I have healing. You know what? It can lag. That's fine. A little bit of lag has never hurt anyone. Cream puff? Any cream puff enjoyers? All right.
Well, I killed my dad. I'm so sorry for your loss. I apologize. I could also get the gun. That is true. Oh my god. Soma, I need you to acquire the blicky, please. Bang, bang. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Let's get out of here before things get a little weird. All right, time to just get past this guy who's totally chill and normal. Okay, I'll take a viewer. Is that a bat? He's got a god. Okay, we can slide now. Which actually doesn't matter. Soul of that completely negates needing the slide now that I think about it. So I came here for no reason. But I can get $1,000, so you know what? Trip worth it. Hey. Okay, we're fine. Oh, really? That is a lot of milk. I do have to wait for my MP to refill. But not that much. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you just get comboed in this game. That's just, you know, how the game works. Here in Enemy Rando Extreme, the enemies are rando and they are extreme. Okay. I guess we go all the way back now. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I will lie, actually. Yeah, this is fine. We might have a problem. We might have a problem. Okay, thank God. Imagine I'm soft locked. Uh, yeah, you can turn off the, the relics in this game. Who would have thought that Bat would actually be one of my most useful relics? Actually, I would. But being able to, like, dodge enemies this way is actually really nice. We could also check a new area this way. Oops. I do want to do the item checks first, because we are still, like, kind of in need of better items. Ooh, speaking of better items... Higher defense? I'll take it. Higher defense? I'll take it. My ass has been getting knocked around. So higher defense is appreciated. Oh! Yes. Yes! Yes! Okay, we are... Not 100% gaming, but we are... Resembling... The steps towards possibly gaming. It took us a while, but we got there. We have much better defense, much better offense. We got the cock laser abilities. We're doing okay. 
Could be a lot worse. For sure. I, you know, sometimes we have inside thoughts that become outside thoughts, and that's okay. Well, I figured out what this is. Oh, the other guy didn't spawn, though. Okay, actually, you know what? I'd say that's overall mission successful. That knocks another potential uh, area off my list of places I wanted to check out, but couldn't because there was bad enemies blocking me from doing so. Sure. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Fuck, man. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. I'm too drunk for cock laser. It's just a little bit of cock laser. Look, cock laser. Ow. Cock laser is an important, you know, staple in your arsenal. That's, that's my excuse, too. Okay, how many people are currently drunk in the Twitch chat right now? I've definitely seen a lot of people be like, oh, dude, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. In, like, unbanned list um, responses. Like, unbanned responses. So I guess it's just common, huh? Dude! 69 from my cock laser? I don't... What is so funny about doing 69 damage from my cock laser? Grow up. Does drunk on life count? I mean, I could get past this guy, but he does have. He probably offers pretty valuable experience. Just kidding. He didn't even give me a level up. I hate that guy. That's pure comedy. Where are those two soul canisters? They have to be behind, um, what's his name? Because we did every item check in this area, except for those two soul canisters. So. They're both behind Graham, which means that they're not required. We haven't found a single book yet, I'm just now realizing. Holy shit, dude, we're an hour in. We haven't found, like, anything that leads to direct progression like that, man. That's unfortunate for us. On the bright side, we are pretty strong, all things considered. One hour of fun with Legion. We did spend a long time with Legion. That is correct. Uh, we haven't checked this area yet, and I definitely should just to be safe. We're still under seven deaths, yeah. It's um, being tracked by the timer at the top of the screen. And this is a dead end. And there's nothing in the forbidden area. All right, well. According to the uh, soul tracker, there's nothing there, so. We move on. And we already checked down there. All right. Big progress. Big progress. Uh, that's just some dagger. We don't really need that. Wait, this is vanilla. Hey, what's the Triton doing here? Oh, shit. No longer vanilla. I'm scared of the janky hitboxes. Oh, please. Okay. There's going to be another one, though. Because it replaced the slime, I think, or the mud man. So there should be one more. Oh, just kidding. Oh, wait, I just realized. Guys, the water we're swimming in piss. 
Oh my god. We got randomized to piss water? <sighs> Why didn't anybody warn me we were going to get random piss water? No! Wait, is that a status effect? Hold on. Some people do that for health reasons. Lemon party has never been this accurate. I'm not sure about that. Maybe a quick um, Google search. Because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what uh, a party. Uh, is that like a new political party that I need to be aware of? Are we voting for Lemon Party this year? Is that what it is? Greetings, Vaku. Can someone uh, do a quick Google search to check in, like how I should feel about the Lemon Party? I'm in the middle of something. Don't search that, please. Why not? Wait, why not? Hold on, why not? I got you, fam. All right, my, my tag on Twitch says 18 or older, all right? Isn't that the SpongeBob villain party? True. All villains are lemons. True. When you put it like that, it's just never been more true, you know? Dude, we're missing so much stuff. Just barely made it. All that for a steel plate. Any plans for the new year? Uh, I do plan on streaming tomorrow. My goal for tomorrow is we're going to have like a pseudo marathon of some new randomizers. Similar to what we're doing today. Um, I'll probably start with Soten and then move on to like other more niche things. A lot of people said, uh, Ooh, nice. To try Elden Ring? I might do Elden Ring randomizer stuff. I was in the middle of an Elden Ring level one run, but honestly, I might put that on pause to do a randomizer playthrough. Why not? That sounds fun. I've been watching a lot of uh, Elden Ring randomizer content, like other people's streams and stuff like that, so it would be fun. Oh. That guy didn't spawn last time, right? Yeah, this final guard didn't spawn last time. Which is unfortunate for us. Oh. But we do need to get past this guy. The thing about Elden Ring is it is a game with a invincible dodge. So if, it, if anything, if you're ever in a spot that's like super duper god awful most of the time, you could choose to get good and just dodge the attacks. This game, however, and Castlevania games, you do not have an invincible dodge. It's also two dimensional. So the combat is much more like spacing dependent horizontally. It's just different. Like here, I'm dodging most enemies just from like transforming into the bat and making my hitbox physically smaller. You know, this is different. Get good. I was considering at one point doing a like Belmont-esque uh, like cosplay playthrough of Elden Ring, but whips are just so bad. They really, truly are heinous. Ow. Like, the base whip is so bad. Like, if you can get the, the late game one, the one from the Fire Giant, it's all right, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to milk up now. Cause I don't know what, I'm glad I used my milk because that room looks bullshit. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. What am I supposed to do? Hold on. Oh wait, I just one shot them. Never mind, we're good. 
I'm like, what do I do? Oh, simply kill them with my incredibly powerful sword. Duh. Sometimes I'm fucking stupid, man. Yeah. You know, I, I spent almost an hour of this seed without a sick-ass flame sword, so you could understand why I would forget that I had one. I've... I've spent most of the seed without one. God, I hate this fucking golem. Why does it have to be vanilla here? Like, I simply don't understand where I'm supposed to hit him, other than, like, his front leg is, like, the only hitbox that I'm, like, aware of that works, kind of. Piss water gives status effect. Honestly, so true. Dude, this castle surely is a creature of chaos. Have you guys ever considered that? Okay. Oh god. Get me out of here. We are technically making progress, okay? Technically. It's very slow, but it's happening. And we still haven't died in a while, which makes me feel a little more positive about this gamble that we have going on here. This was a dagger, right? Just a knife. Every enemy you one-shot is another chance of getting a soul. That is true. Manticore spawn out of nowhere! Oh, God! Okay, so if the game is, like, lagging too hard, it won't spawn in the enemies, and then it stops lagging, and then the enemies do spawn in. Which is terrifying. That's a terrifying... Enemies can just not be there, and then they just spawn in. This enemy randomizer is so cursed. Oh, see, like that! Okay, I just need to start memorizing every enemy spawn in this game if I want to be safe here. What up, be scholar? No, I want the potato pancakes. There's a bug! Ah! I'm being attacked by a bug in real life and by these enemies! Yeah, you could use incants and sorceries for, like, holy damage. You could use the uh, throwable daggers. There's, like, a lot of, like, themed Belmonte things you can do in Elden Ring. It's just that the whips are the worst part. <laughs> a bug in late December? I live in Florida, man. There's bugs all years, all years around. The bugs never stop. They just don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Final guard! Florida, but the F and the L are uh, backwards makes a lot of sense. El Florida. Ah! What, what am I supposed to do? Dude, straight up. Hold up. I need this golem. Come with me. I need your help. You gotta push me through the piss, man. You got Golem, I need you to be my piss pusher, all right? I appear boned. That's what you think. Once I get a little uh, assistance through the piss. Have I ever played Soten before? That's a good question. You know what? Maybe I could try Soten. Soten randomizer, maybe? Do they have a randomizer for that game? Soton? I've played that game once or twice, I think. No. He thinks his kick is better than mine. I'm shit out of luck, no randomizer. Unfortunate. Mm. 
There's no reason to do that, but I guess to save magic. Oh, thank you. All right. We still have zero books, by the way. Zero indication as to how to beat the game. As soon as we know which books we need, we can actually most likely beat the game. Soma does not enjoy reading. That took so long to load, I thought the game crashed. Which is terrifying me to think of what what horrors lie beyond. I cannot believe I didn't die there. 13 health. Oh my god. All that for a potion? I think I'm going to do it. To refill the... Yeah, why not? I, I used a healing item. God, it takes so long to load. So I think it's worth it to replace the healing item with a different healing item. Oh my god, Kicker Skeleton, please. Oh my god, it's... The game is fucking, like, breaking in this area. I'm scared it's gonna crash. This is terrifying. Wait, how's there still missing soul? Isn't this every item check in the area? I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna kill this guy, these guys to hopefully lag the game less. Does the crash count as a status effect? True. So I think this is the last item check we don't know about. So it has to be a soul? It doesn't? Which item check am I forgetting in this area? I feel like I've done all of them. Oh, I know, actually. There is one that we're forgetting. There's literally one more. It's the hallway between the castle entrance and the underground reservoir. Yeah, flight lock checked in Western Reservoir. Exactly, yeah. Because all that's down here is that sword, which I don't really need. I guess I could sell it. Sure. Would I eat ramen? You found it in an area full of piss for $100. I mean, I'm already in the piss. All right. Would you rather... This area, right, you have to traverse the underwater reservoir the same that Soma is, assuming you can breathe underwater, whatever. However, option A, it's piss. Option B, it's Panera Lemonade. Which one do you do? I feel like you, if you value your life, you have to go for the, the piss, right? Eat the piss ramen, you coward. It's a tough choice. I feel like you have to go piss. Because Panera Lemonade, that's that's just asking to die. Right? It'll eventually seep through your skin. That much caffeine concentrated in that much liquid, you, I think you just, you know, through skin absorption alone, I think you die. Wait. Oh, okay. So then I do have to go back. You know what I can do, actually? I'm going to grab the warp for the arena and then... Yeah, let's do the arena warp and then turn around. The Panera Lemonade will absorb through my pores and kill me. That's what I'm saying! Because piss has never killed... 
I was going to say the absorption of piss has never killed anybody, right? But I can't be confident about that. Damn, dog. It's lubricating working overtime. If you have the power of Flesh Golem, it protects you against the Panera Lemonade. It also protects you against piss. So I, I, I don't... I don't see the problem here. Wait, you can double backdash if you're going down a slope in this game? I didn't know that. I guess it's sub-pixel dependent or something? Alright, well we have the warp so we can come back here whenever we want. We do have that last area. Oops. Depending on who's pissed, it could be lethal. Oh my god. My dad's best friend's goldfish died from absorbing piss. Damn, when, actually that's not... That sounds like an uh, immutable fact about the world, so I cannot, you know. Anecdotal evidence is... I. It's still evidence, right? It has evidence in the name. So therefore, it must be true. Yep. You simply cannot go onto the internet and, and lie. Oh fuck, I have to get past these guys. Damn, look at that spacing, though. Might be able to cheese them by doing this. No, I needed that to send me the other way. And they won't get any closer. Shit, I don't want it to go all the way around, but I think I might. I mean, I can go all the way around. It just takes a while. I, I just, I'm going to have to go around. Let's go around. Chewy, thank you for the raid. Chewy, you ever try this shit? <laughs> this enemy randomizer thing is, um, something. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, we're doing some Aria. Big toss, full enemy randomizer. And it's going very well. We have zero uh, books for Graham, so there's that. Level one max rando a couple of times, no big toss though. That's crazy. Wait, you can lock yourself to level one? Oh my God, you're insane. Oh my, Chewie's a real one for that. Oh my God. I, and I thought that I was struggling. I can't imagine struggling like this at level one. <laughs> Jesus, I feel like he, oh man. That's crazy, man. Maybe one day I'll get like at one tenth as good at this game as you are. Maybe. To be, yeah, I was gaslit out of my first seed that did start with Dracula's tunic and claim. But I was like, no, nah, that's too easy. And then we had to fight Grand Falloon for, how long was it? It was like 35 minutes with a, a base lard. That was fun, right guys? No, it was great, it was fun. We all had a good time. It was a broadsword, I apologize, it was a broadsword. 
I switched the broadsword halfway through because it did one extra damage. Yes, I remember now. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is where the item check is that we're missing. So this is the, the soul. And then the other one is the area that we're missing. So this has to be, yep, a soul. I don't know if that's the soul we need, but it is a soul. And then there's two area transitions that we haven't checked yet. And they're both kind of far from each other. There's not really a reason to do one over the other. Are there any areas that we're missing access to? Uh, dance hall, I think? Does that mean they both go to dance hall if we haven't seen dance hall yet? Oh, and clock tower. So it's like, yeah, it's those two locations. It's dance hall and clock tower. But that should mean that clock tower should hopefully then lead to dance hall. Oh, fuck. I forgot this fucking area. Shit. There's nothing there. Oh my god. Oh my hoopla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> what up, Jester? Dude, imagine trying to beat this enemy randomizer hit list. I keep thinking about it and how insanely stupid it sounds. Because I've probably taken damage, what, a hundred times already in this seat alone? We've died four times. Maybe that's Chewie's next uh, insane randomizer. This looks wild. Yeah, simply do level one locked uh, enemy randomizer. No hit. Zero HP the whole time. 1 HP the whole time, whatever you want to call it. And uh, do it in... Uh, I'm not even a rando guy. Wait. Oh, shit. I misread the map. Wait. So which area transition am I missing? Oh, I know which one. Wait, 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 wait. We've been to... Shit, I don't remember how to get there. We've been to the um, library. Or whatever it's called. The place where... Uh, the great armor boss fight normally is. We've been there, but it was uh, locked by not having slide, but we have slide now. I would magical ticket. Yeah, that'd be great if there was a magical ticket in this game. This is where I would use my magical ticket. If I had one. At this point, it feels like the most reasonable thing to do is to cry. And then once we stop crying, we need to find a warp so we can warp back to the Coliseum and explore. Because I think there was three souls there. Dude. Stop! This game is so fun. This game is fun. This game is fun. Very funny that these guys are here. I'm laughing. 
Oh boy, I sure that is a very funny joke game. Oh my god. Just outrun him. Outrun him. Oh no. Hey, when in doubt, uh, chug some milk. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Okay, we're back to top floor. We know both of those souls are behind Graham. This takes us back to the reservoir, but it is closer to the warp. So we just gotta warp to... Yeah, no books, literally zero, zilch, nada. We're almost two hours in. I would very much like to finish this randomizer if it's possible, so. Eagles. Thank you for the six, T. You ever gonna try and get good at Portrait of Ruin? I don't know, man. There's so many games. And I like Portrait of Ruin, don't get me wrong. But it's not 100% on my list of next games to get good at. In fact, uh, how many people were watching? How many people watching? Promise not to spoil or leak, but I am slowly, it's driving me fucking insane, but I am slowly trying to learn a couple of new speedruns for the next year. That are themed. I'll say four new newish speedruns that I, I'm trying to, to do. You saw my post about one of them? Oh, I, I need to check on that post, yeah. Speaking of, Chewy, I was gonna test it myself, but I guess I could just ask you in case you know. Is, um, let's say hypothetically I'm playing through Aria without a clear file. Does that change anything about the zero HP route? Like, do the cutscenes change, like, for example, the, the base lard manipulation at the start of the run? I, I was going to think yes, right? But it just depends on whether scrolling through the cutscene uh, changes the RNG. You have to do a different base lard manip, but that's all. Okay, cool. And is there a reference to find that base lard manip? Somewhere. One more question. Where do you get the timer with all the relics that I see in speedruns? Oh, for uh, Symphony of the Night, it's uh, the relic tracker, and you can find it on Soten.io under um, references, I think, or um, something along the lines of that. Or like important links or something like that. I'll take Excalibur. It's, pre it's a pretty good weapon. I do know one exists. That might be a Brooke question. All right, I'll message Brooke. That also brings up the, the question of, uh, can you, because I have no fucking clue what's going on in the glitched uh, Harmony of Dissonance run outside of what I saw from um, the runs I watched. Please don't. I'm just gonna assume that the the any percent route, the the juice any percent route works without a clear file. I'm gonna assume it works. I hope it works. If not, my the entirety of the idea that I'm working on just doesn't work at all and it would be a waste of a lot of my time uh excalibur is a oh my god no fucking way it's a uh boss rush weapon you unlock it through playing the boss rush i see the idea hopefully it works yeah i'm hoping it works too 
I mean, the the idea does involve speedrunning multiple games back to back. That's pretty obvious. But I don't want to spoil too much. Especially if I don't end up actually doing the the challenge itself, like if it turns out to not be possible or it's just fucking way too hard and I never end up doing it. I don't want to get people's hopes up by saying, yeah, I'll totally do this thing. And then it turns out, actually, it's really fucking hard to do that thing, so I'm not going to do it. The wrongiest spear? My favorite. I didn't know there was a boss rush. Uh, I think it's unlockable only after you've beaten the game, if I remember correctly. Oh, I'm well aware you can cheese the DDR room. I pretty much never do that shit legit anymore. Oh, come on. A book! Finally! Our first book, Final Guard. Just checking, no worries. Appreciate the, uh, you looking out for me. Couldn't I just buy that at the shop? I could have, yeah. Oh god. So funny that they just were like, yeah, fuck it. Just squeeze on in, we don't care. Uh, Black Belt is slightly better than Satan's Ring, right? Yeah, for damage. Fuck it, whatever. He says and then immediately gets hit. The defense won't matter, surely. Come on. I am going to go save before fighting this boss. I should check the other items before fighting this boss as well. Although I do kind of want to fight the boss in case it's... um The fact that there's no enemy that spawns here is freaking me out. Um, there's a chance that the boss is death or... Something like that, and then we can unlock more stuff in the shop. Although I don't really need more shop items, to be honest. I kind of just need the book so I can peace out and beat the game. This is our first time in dance hall, and it's for the boss fight. Alrighty. Ancient belt. All right. Was it worth it? No, but we had fun, and that's what really matters. Two hours into our enemy rando extreme speedrun. Oh my god. Oh. Quick little posture check. I was not expecting this to take this long, but it is a randomizer after all. So the amount of time it takes surely is random. Fuck. Thank you, Mendo. Take it easy. I'm cursed! Guys, is curse a status effect? Oh god, get me out of here, man. The Mountain Dew Pond. Alrighty. So, I think the next thing we need to do is find the tra area transition that's led us to the, um, the area that the Great Armor normally is. Actually, I sent you a DM. Hopefully that works. Oh, thank you. Let me double check. Aria Star, Base Star, Manip with cutscene. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. Leave me alone, lady. My mom said not to talk to strangers. Oh, God. Uh, so it was somewhere 
near the beginning, surely. It was just so long ago, I don't remember. Maybe it's the very end of the... Starting area? Oh, I could check the area transition going towards... um Clock tower as well, from the bottom. God, it's just been so long since we've, like, done anything. Uh, let me fill up on milk. And I have final guard, right? I do. I don't need to buy it. I'll sell my Bert. I'm good. Don't need that. 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 Honestly, don't need that either. Holy Spear? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. 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 I'll keep that uh, elfin robe in case I switch to using my int more. Oh, very interesting. Anyways. I'm here for milk and high potions. And that's it. I already have final guard, so I don't need it. Dude, I'm kind of schmoving, though. Oh god, never mind, we are no longer schmoving. How much health do these giant skeletons have? Ow. So I'm wondering if it's even worth trying to kill them. Too much? All right, we're leaving. I'm skipping. I'm like, oh, maybe I can get some experience or something. Uh, what level am I? 24? I don't need more experience. I'll be fine. That's a perfectly fine level. Especially considering I still need to fight Julius. But Julius doesn't give experience, never mind. Effects. Yeah, we're pretty much. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we've done that area transition up there. That's fine. Uh, intentional damage boost. He says, uh, I actually should just be doing more damage boosts for speed now that my defense is actually good. So I'm doing this check because it is sticking in my head as the place I'm supposed to go for some reason. Yes, this is the correct place. This is the correct place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when we got here the first time, this gave us, I think, flying armor, but then we were locked in. Oh, and there's... Yeah, this is... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can even save split here if I wanted to. If I don't find anything useful. And then go back. Oh, baby. Nice. Gladiator. We do have that. So we're just missing the yellow book now. And we can go beat the game. It took way too long to figure this out. Every time I see a big skelly boy, I get kind of worried, and less they're blue, and then I'm fine with it. Erin is... Uh, sure. Okay. 
We're finding a lot of yellow souls, which means odds are we probably already have the yellow soul that we need. So we just need the book, honestly. Okay, we're finally fighting death. Oh, the background is so cool when with the red moon. That's actually really sick. I'm a big fan of this color palette, specifically for this uh, boss fight. Ow. 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 Dude, I don't want to die this fucking guy. Okay. Nice. Gorgon. Not bad at all. Yeah, I should be able to cut the moon in half. If this was a good video game. Well, there's Gladiator again. Okay, well... So I haven't even seen Clock Tower. I think that's the last area we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I think so. We big toss and now, especially because I have so much healing. I'll big toss. I'm not scared. I'm not even going to do any of the extra checks. There's no reason to. Nice. Nice. That one's quick enough. If it was like a healing item, I would have picked it up. Yellow book, please. Please, 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 please. Please be here. Ow. 420 HP. Ow, never mind, it's over. I don't want to have to actually fight anything right now. I've done enough fighting. It's been two hours, please. Just be nice to me, game. Let me win. I've worked so hard for this. Please, let me win. Tiger trying out for the NBA. Who jumps like that? I understand. I mean, there's no reason to, but I will do it. Let's go to Ring Master. Ow. Ow. No. Oh, actually, I, I, the dagger would have been kind of useful. Just get me out of here, man. You know, I never noticed that there was, like, trees in the background until you make the background look like this. This That looks like I'm underwater, and those are, like, underwater trees. I don't know. That... The background looks crazy. Excuse me. That's what I figured it had to be, right? It was the last gray soul remaining. Big seaweed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Sea seaweed? 420? See, I seaweed. And then I... There's a joke somewhere in there about seaweed. It's kind of like the the seafood diet i'm on a seaweed diet i see weed and i eat it i don't know someone smarter than me funnier than me figured out i see weed i smoke weed Some, something there's a joke somewhere in there yeah figure it out 
Seaweed is pretty good, though. It is pretty good. I do like seaweed. 50% sea, 50% weed. Who doesn't like seaweed? <sighs> Sorry, I need to remember to hydrate. I almost forgot. Um, We just fucking leave, right? I got owned. I seaweed, I smoke crack. Damn, so close. What? Hold up. Do, 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 do. That room was kind of laggy and kind of scary. Dog, what you doing up there? He's, he's lost. Dude, the mountains in the bottom too. I love this color palette. This is really cool. Yeah, red moon with the... With like the different colored map. It's a, it's a good color palette. It's a good one. Oh, fuck. I gotta remember when there's like rooms like this. Where there's enemies that spawn right next to the frickin' doorway. Like, for example, if that enemy was too big, I don't think this room would be possible with the, um, Big Toss randomizer on. Like, if it was a golden skeleton or something. One of those big skeletons. I feel like I, I just wouldn't be allowed into this area. It'd be, nope. No access. We haven't found a single Rush Soul either. Which is interesting. Hey, look, it's the big toss randomizer in the one boss fight where it kind of doesn't matter. Because he always big tosses you anyways. Oh, God. Is this better than... Do I have anything? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. What? <laughs> Why did I do that? It's fine. You know what? It's to make the the gamble a little bit scarier. Cuz we're two now we're two deaths away from failing the gamble. I need more stakes, obviously. Let's just love it in this fucking idiot. Stop trying to overcomplicate it with the stupid sword. It is crazy to me that they, they just squish that giant bat. Poor bat. Is it controversial to think Arya or Donasar is more fun than Arya? No, I think that's... I can understand having that opinion. I kind of like them both a lot, but for very different reasons. I think Arya is a tighter designed game. Like, I think the ideas that are in Arya of Sorrow are designed a little bit more... with a little bit more purpose. Where Dawn of Sorrow has more fun things. Oh, thank God. But they are designed very, not poorly, but like are less tightly designed. Tribute. So I feel like it's just like two different design philosophies using place. similar settings, similar ideas, stuff like that. Thank you, Gino, for the 22 months. I appreciate it. So I think it just depends on if you prefer a game that is tighter designed, but has like less stuff. And there is some jank in this game, don't get me wrong. The hitboxes in particular are very janky. But Dawn of Sorrow definitely has a lot of, a lot, a lot of, a, a lot of jank. Dawn of Sorrow, very janky. Almost to the point uh, where some would call it uh, bad. I wouldn't call it bad. 
But man, the touchscreen controls are something. Tribute. You steal men's souls. And 20 months? Thank you, Ringmaster. That's such a long time. Oh my lag. Well, we have everything to finish the game. We just have to go do it. Uh, does anybody remember where Floating Garden is? God damn it. I always do this to myself when I do Area Randomizer. Oh, you could have just hit me the other way. Dude, hit me the other way. What the fuck? Thank you. Dude, what am I supposed to do? I just want to get to the fucking warp. Oh, that worked. Oh my Christ. Whatever, I'll just damage boost. I don't care. I do not care. Oh. The imps in this game are so inconsistent, you have to aim for the tip of the trident. That's what I'm saying. Like, some of the hitboxes are just so weird. You learn to kind of live with it. And you start to, like, take note of which enemies are, like, bullshit. For sure. In, in which ways they are bullshit. And then you just kind of, like, work around it, and it's not that bad. Oop, wrong way. I always forget that the uh, save room is one more up. I'll say combat in this game also has a very particular flow to it. And Dawn of Sorrow also has really, uh, I think, good combat controls with the addition of, like, being able to crouch out of a backdash to cancel weapons attacks and stuff like that. I think it's a good addition for sure. Uh, Gladiator, Enerus, Final Guard. There's no reason to use these, so. Oh no, I'm gonna do slightly less damage with my giant fucking thing. Can't believe I ducked that in time. Ow. Yeah, it's Excalibur. Nobody said that Excalibur got pulled out of the stone. It is the sword in the stone for a reason. Because there's two ways to walk away with Excalibur. You pull it out of the stone, or you keep... You just, you know, mine out the rock around it. What a background, yeah. Be a baby. That's fine. It is a weird boss, I agree. It's kind of like a weird final form Dracula from Soten mixed with more weird, I don't know. Can I please have Black Panther? I said please. Uh, shit. I did not say pretty please. You're correct. Where is... Ah, where's the garden? You know what I could do to cheat to remember where it is? 
Let's rewind the YouTube VOD. And, oh, I'm in Garden. It is the right connection. Oh, okay. It's back at Castle Entrance. There we go. The YouTube VOD coming in clutch. So I don't have to remember shit. Ow. Can we beat this in under two and a half hours? Maybe. No rush soul does make it a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, Excalibur is one of the best weapons in the game, so I'm not going to complain. Although Julius does resist it. I'll check the shop in case... I don't know. If there's anything, like Lubicant Soul maybe could show up. Plus I can buy more, um... Milk. I buy super potions if I don't want to spend my money on anything else. Well, Calabog might actually be what I use. Hmm. Uh, I'm using the Logitech F310. I bought this controller originally as a joke, but I ended up actually liking it a lot. So it is no longer a joke controller to me. Plus, like, every person who's uh, good at this game uses it. So maybe coincidence, maybe not. Good enough. We spent all of our money. For a budget controller option, it's actually insanely good. <clears throat> There's definitely, like, issues with it, for sure, but not a lot compared to, like, other con controller options, especially for the price point. I think for the price point of the controller, because it's, like, less than, like, a normal controller price. I think I got mine for, like, what, 20 bucks? 25 bucks? Something like that online. I don't know what the retail uh, price of it is anymore. When I originally bought it, it was pretty cheap. And I, I use it a lot too, and I've, I've felt like zero issues overall. Um, the triggers are definitely interesting. There's a, a amount of clickiness to the L and R bumper, but then the actual L and R triggers are like oddly, I don't know, like squishy. I don't even know if they have analog functionality. Uh, I assume they do. Have I used it in Soten? Yeah, I've used it for Soten. Um, it's fine for Soten. I don't think there's anything wrong with using it for Soten. I personally don't use it for Soten because I prefer having an analog stick um, that is in the position where the D-pad is in this controller. Um, I like the Xbox 360 layout of the controller just a little bit more for Soten. But if you used a uh, the Logitech instead for Soten, I wouldn't, like, hold it against you. I think that's perfectly valid way to play the game. The buttons are really good for, like, shield dashing, for example. Isn't there a button to swap the D-pad and joystick input? 
I'm not talking about the inputs being in the wrong spot. I'm talking about like, there is physically not a joystick in this location. It is down here. And I do not like having to reach down here for a joystick input. I like for it to be uh, where the D-pad is. Because my primary movement method in Symphony of the Night is the analog stick most of the time. So I would like for it to be in the place that is the most comfortable to use. But that's just me. Uh, is there anything I need to switch for this? Not really, right? I, mean, I can use Beam Skeleton versus this guy. It's actually not a bad strat. So I run out of uh, MP. Ow. I was trying to do it quick enough to double hit. I have like 10 billion healing items, so I'm fine. Oh, the tippy toes, man. I'll just use the melon now, fuck it. I don't think I'm gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna regret using it there. You can hit him out. Oh, that's interesting. Someone doesn't get the godly backdashing ability in this game? Are you talking about Black Panther? He does get it in this game. Like the really fast dash? Backdash, I don't know what you're talking about. The one Julius is using? Oh, I mean, yeah. Julius is just built different. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, God. That was actually a pretty clean fight overall. I did take a lot of damage in dumb places, but pretty fast, all things considered. Yeah, he has like 10 bajillion health, so. I'm trying to beat this in under two and a half hours. Still on the table. I feel like. Oh god. I might need to not get owned by these enemies though. Ow. No! <laughs> Come on, man. Let me through. I don't want to have to fight. Ow. Wasting my goddamn time. Uh... Oh no, the scariest enemy of all. Those were intentional damage boosts. No, they're so scary. Whatever shall I do? Oh God. In case something crazy happens, I will save. Tribute. Yo, steal men's Man on, thank you for the five gifted. Slaves. Appreciate it. Please let me through. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, I appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. Oh, I went the wrong way. 
been a while, okay? I apologize. Forgot where I was going. Yeah, we are doing a uh, New Year's special stream tomorrow. Just FYI. Have I tried the roguelike Aria mod? Yeah, I, I tried that hack. It, it's a lot of fun. I did it once, though. I don't know if I want to... I should go back to and try it again. What is that? Uh, it's not unnecessary. It's cool uh, katana, but I don't need it. Ow. What were the results of Thug Finals? Oh, I ended up winning. I'm going to be posting that video very soon, actually. I just haven't... The only reason I honestly haven't posted it yet is I'm struggling to come up with a good uh, title and thumbnail. Once I think of one, I'll probably upload it the next day. To be honest. Sometimes it's just that that simple. Is like I just can't think of a, a better way to to market the video. So I don't want to upload it until I figure it out. And I just haven't thought about it enough. To be honest. And I do have a lot of other videos that I need to upload as well. So, you know, the whole daily upload thing. Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. But thankfully, I'm also doing a lot of damage. Dude, if I had lubricant right now, oh, baby. Time to phone it into ChatGPT. Uh, I would not trust ChatGPT to come up with good ideas. <laughs> That's for sure. Dude, what a randomizer. This... Honestly, very cool randomizer and concept, but boy, is it just so insanely hard sometimes and kind of bullshit. But honestly, I kind of like that it's bullshit. I don't know. Sometimes when things are a little too fair, it gets boring. You know? I think that's the issue with uh, Symphony of the Night sometimes. Oh, God. Oh, my God! I'm getting fucking... Thrown around the room like I'm a goddamn basketball. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. You know what? 41 damage is fine. Dude, what is Chaos doing? What is the snake doing, dog? That's not what I meant to do. This, this chaos is a creature of chaos, true. There we go. We did it! Just barely! No, 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 no. We finished it before two and a half hours. Okay, we did it in under two and a half hours. Holy shit. Like a second before. That was crazy. Oh, it counts. I'm counting it. Fuck it. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't expecting this randomizer to take this long. Um, to be fair, we also did have the timer start from the last seed, and then we quit out of that last seed like two minutes in, and then switched over to this seed because the last seed was too easy. But I stuck to my guns, and we finished it. Oh my god. If you somehow watch this entire thing on YouTube, uh, you're amazing. You're the best. Uh, you should join the live stream sometime. I'd love to see you in the live stream. Twitch.tv slash Dragonblitz. Come say hi. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my god, dude, these these are these are crazy. These are 
crazy. And also, wait, the prediction, we did it in under seven deaths. We did it. <laughs> Sub seven deaths. Believers, you're getting a big payday today. Nice. GG's. There you go, Brand. You can get some of your channel points back. <laughs> oh, what? That was fun. That was that was a lot of fun.